Six minutes in, the home side getting the first chance at goal. Troy with a free kick. A header by Kim inside of the save made by Joseph Antoine Bell. Cameroon's veteran goalkeeper of World Cup play. Kim with a strong header, the number nine player, and Bell with a right-hand save. It's a nice one. Keeping the score 0-0. Till about the 27-minute mark. Akeme with a free kick. Liba with a header to Georges Mouyem. Walking in and scoring. Where was the goalkeeper? In Young Choi was out of goal. Cameroon takes a one to nothing lead. Akeme with a free kick. There's Liba. And there's where Choi was. He went out to battle Liba. And if you go out there in a battle like that as a goalkeeper, you better win that battle. And no one seemed to be able to help In Young Choi either when he vacated that goal. A defender will normally cover up. And right here, you don't see one until it's a little bit too late. Cameroon with a one to nothing lead. Cameroon was a Cinderella team in World Cup 1990, beating the defending champs from Argentina in the first game. Injury time here. A lot of passing back and forth here with South Korea advancing. Young one show will be the man number 11 right side. Getting it in, but there's a foul call on Young Won show for interfering with a goalkeeper, Bell. No goal. South Korea had the chance to tie right there in injury time in the first half. They don't get it. They trail one to nothing with the second half yet to come. And this would be a most interesting second 45 minutes of play. A lot of chances and some goals. 53rd minute. Chul Kang with a cross. Dai Sik Choi with a shot, an off-balance shot, and an equally off-balance save by Bell. Four minutes later, another chance to come for South Korea. Their fans looking, waiting for a goal. Dai Sik Choi on the run, looking to play it in front. Jin Ho Cho, and again it's Bell with a masterful game and goal for Cameroon. Now it's Cameroon's turn off the corner kick. Here's a chance. Raymond Kala. And In Young Choi makes the save. All the way to the end, minute 79. South Korea again with Dai Sik Choi centering it. Kim with a shot, and again it's Bell. Would either team score in the second half? The answer was yes. About five minutes later, watch South Korea. This is a set play. Kim with a shot off the deflection, and another player will score. That's Yun Suk Kim. It's a 1 1 tie. The first part of this was a set play. Of course, you can never count on a deflection. They go short. It was Sang Boom Gu who gave it up to Kim. His shot was deflected, and Yun Suk Kim was the man on the spot. Sang Boom Gu to Pan Kyun Kim, who's got a wicked shot. That one was deflected. And the opportunistic Hyun Suk Kim scores the equalizer in minute 84. 1-1. Would that be the finish? No, there's a lot more to come. Watch Cameroon on the corner kick by Bernard Schautang. Watch how long this stays inside the 18. It should have been cleared. It's not cleared yet. There's a shot and a score. Raymond Kala. Cameroon takes a 2-1 lead in minute 88. Kala probably feels here he's got the game winner. The first header was stopped by the South Korean defense. There's a giveaway. In Young Choi appears to make one block. It's loose. And then again, Kala was there. Well, the longer that ball stays in there, you've got to expect trouble. Look at In Young Choi getting down low. Has to get a good read on it, but then he gets caught down flat on his back when that goal was scored. Could South Korea come back? There was only two minutes to play. Tai Young Sin, number 13 on the right side. To Pan Kyun Kim. Settled. The shot taken a score off Bell by Jin Ho Cho. He ties it in the 90th minute. Great stuff for South Korea on this cross inside the 18. Put down once and play to Jin Ho Cho. Far post goal. We saw two goals in the last two minutes and some great saves, especially by Bell in the second half. No more scoring there. What a wild one. 2-2 was the final. South Korea and Cameroon.
in game two of the series.